We're back out here at the Leach Teaching Gardens here with Tim Hartman. Uh, Tim, today we're talking about something that can really uh, impact our pear and our apple trees called fire blight. What, what exactly is that? Yeah, so fire blight is a bacterial disease. Uh, you can see some of it here um, that ends up getting into the new tissue. It usually comes in through the flowers, the new growth on pears and apples. Um, it's common on some of our ornamental pears also, like the Bradford flowering pear, but uh, it can really tear up things like apples um, and some of our, our fruiting pear varieties as well. Yeah, it look, looks pretty serious. Yeah, so what it does is it'll come in, uh, it tends to be common in really, in really warm and humid weather, and so the typical symptom you're looking for is it looks like someone took a torch to it. It's mm -hmm. kind of burnt up looking like that, and then it also gets this typical shepherd's crook is what we call it. And so if you see this, you got to nip it in the bud and get rid of it. Sure. And, and how do you go about doing that? So the best way to do it is mm -hmm. uh, this pear actually doesn't have any, but we'll just you know, pretend that it does. Sure. So if we saw it here, we'd want to go ideally about 8 to 10 inches below that into healthy tissue, and we would just cut it off. Mm -hmm. And it's really important to make sure that we sterilize our pruning equipment in between cuts with either 10% Clorox or Lysol, and that'll just keep it from spreading to other parts. Great, so a uh, very easy way to make sure that you don't have that uh, awful uh, thing happen to your, your beautiful pear and apple trees. Yes, because if, if left unchecked, sometimes it can go and take out whole limbs and even the whole tree sometimes. Wow. Yeah, well, Tim, thank you so very much. You're welcome.